Hey Pilots, this is Pete with BanataHobby.com. Thanks for joining me for this in the box review of the TW Models ME109. Um, there's been several TW models that we carry on our side already and it's proven to be just one of our best, best, best products and our best sellers for the price, for the affordability and the performance of the models. These models come in at under $100 guys, ready to fly package out of the box. Basically you need uh, 8 AA batteries and you're ready to go. And this is your uh, ready to fly Warbird made by T -Mo TW Models. We've seen the uh, TW86, the TW Models F4U Corsair, and the TW Model Cessna. So we're adding this ME109 to our line of TW Models. Just a beautiful little kit here, guys. Uh, ready to fly, four channel, out of the box, and uh, you're flying one of these beautiful birds. Um, we're going to go ahead and just open this thing up for you here and give you guys a in-the-box review of this beautiful little model. All right. Let's go ahead and talk pop off the top of the box here and show you guys what's inside of this TW Models ME109. Alright. Wow, look at that. Bear with me guys, I haven't opened this thing yet. Uh, first thing that comes out is your manual. Pretty much uh, self-explanatory. It's got some uh, nice pictures in there. Guide you guys through this thing. Set that puppy aside. Look at that. Oh my goodness. So this is the ME109 made by TW Models. Self-contained, ready to go one box. Pretty much, this is your ready to fly four channel warbird. Um, beautiful kit, guys. Let's go ahead and open this up. Go ahead and get the top braces off. Wow, look at that main wing. Look at this main wing, guys. This is your main wing for the TW Models MU109. This is made out of EPO foam. Okay, have you guys seen uh, in the other videos already? I've shown you guys how strong and how rigid this foam is. It is extremely, extremely rigid. And uh, as you can see, this is very, very crash worthy for all you guys that are starting off in this. Um, this is going to prove to have a lot, a lot of durability. We've sold so many of the Cessnas and the AT6s and, uh, and the F4Us, guys. And now we got the ME109, one of my all-time favorite Warbirds as well. So this is your main wing. Pretty hinged already. Look at this beautiful, beautiful, uh, basically it's an airbrush or spray painted, uh, camel, camouflage pattern. Just gorgeous. I uh, got your, uh, main wing aileron servo, pre-mounted, pre-hinged, pre-horned already. Got the rods already ran, ready to go here, guys. Basically, you just plug it in and you're set here. Then go set the main wing aside. All right, check that out. So that's how she comes, just like that. All right, next thing we're coming out is your tail section. And this is your horizontal stabilizer. Pre-mounted once again, pre-painted. Beautiful finish here, guys. Uh, Pre-hinged once again. All you got to do is put your horns on this one and uh, glue it onto the main frame and you're ready to go. All right, let's go ahead and pull out the fuselage. Check that out. Look how beautiful this little thing is. Look how scale this thing is. My goodness, look at the coloration, the paint on it, the decals are pre-applied already. Down here we have your basic uh, elevator and rudder servo pre-mounted already. So this is basically, it's ready to go already on the boxer for you guys. Receivers mounted right here, okay. Got a little uh, motor arm button here that we'll discuss during the flight video of how to start this motor up, okay. This is a brushed, it is a brushed main motor, uh, ran on a gear reduction. It's got tons of power. It's got plenty of power to fly these things, guys. When I test this for you, I don't mess around. I don't put any other kind of radio gear in it and test it for you. I test a bone stock with a stock battery that it comes with and everything. Um, proves to be, this thing proves to have plenty of power on this power system and there's just no if ands, or buts about that, guys. I'm not hiding any of that stuff from you guys, so I, don't, I, I never do with these reviews. Otherwise, I wouldn't do them, guys. Um, pretty much ready to go. And I believe that, yep, this comes right off. Uh, the top hatch comes right off the canopy Basically, here. And it's a magnetic hatch. And you have access to your magnetic. servos, and you're ready to go here. And you got, look at that little pre-painted canopy. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Look how beautiful that little thing is right there like that. I can't wait to get this thing done and fly this thing for you guys. All right, guys. So this is your rudder. This is fully four-channel function um, aircraft here for you guys. So you got your throttle, you got your rudder, your elevator, and your ailerons. And it's got a steerable tail wheel on it, so you got full control over it on the ground for taxiing and stuff. Beautiful little rudder here, guys. Fully EPO foam. Oh, my goodness. Look at the quality. I look at the... I'm just so excited about this. I love Warbirds. Look at the, the beautiful, just the beautiful finish of this aircraft. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's go ahead and go to the transmitter. Okay, the transmitter that's supplied with it is a four-channel um, transmitter made by uh, Lan Yu, I guess, model. 
I've flown this transmitter on all the TW models. Works fine, guys. No issues whatsoever. Okay, guys. Um, if you do have a radio issue, contact me. Not a problem. We'll take care of it. Okay. But so far, I don't have any issues with these these uh these radio gear. Um, you got your antenna basically right here in the box that you're just gonna screw in here. That we're gonna screw in real quick just to show you here. And that's it. Um, screw it down tight, and you're pretty much ready to go. So uh, basic four channel function control. You got your um, sticks to feel nice and uh, solid here. Really nice, really fluid. Okay, you got your throttle. Everything's good. Got your servo reversing down here, and uh, pretty much set, ready to go here, guys. I'm going to put the radio aside here. All right. See what else is in the box here. Okay, cool. So you got three propellers to choose from in this little hardware package here. You got uh, two shorter ones and the longer one, depending on your elevation and what type of flight performance you want to get. Okay, these things fly very, very scale, and uh, you can do very nice aerobatics with that as well. You got your glue that's supplied in here already for the tail section, and you got your main gear. You got your some servo horns, a spinner, and a little screwdriver. And you're pretty much set to go with a little hardware package there. That thing is sweet. Okay, so next thing we're going to talk about is the battery that comes with it. Pretty simple. This is a nickel metal hydride pack brain free guys this aircraft is for all you level pilots that are starting off or you're a sport flyer it doesn't really matter because nickel metal hydro packs it's brain free it is uh it will never get over discharged and uh so you don't have any the issues with the lithium polymer packs so basically this is your 650 milliamp eight cell uh nickel metal pack at 9.6 volts okay what is supplied for a charger here with the tw mu 109 it's basically a simple wall charger um, pl that plugs into the battery port on this side right here. Um, this charger is not a peak charger, guys. It's an adapter charger that's putting out uh, amperage to charge this battery pack. I can't tell you the charge time, but uh, what you want to do with this charge cycle is you plug it in the wall, plug it into here, check the battery every about 15 to 20 minutes. Okay. Once the nickel metal hydride packs with this charger becomes fully charged, you will physically feel that this battery is warm to the touch. When it's warm to the touch, it is time to unplug it from the charger because if you continue it, um, you can go above maybe 10 minutes above once it starts to feel warm, that's okay. But if you leave it on for another two hours, it's going to over discharge this battery. Knock off the battery and it's just not a safe thing to do. So just keep an eye on it. When it's warm, it's fully, fully charged, ready to go. Unplug it, pop it into the airplane and go fly it. Uh, we carry these things as well. So you can always buy more batteries and you can cycle them. And if you got a peak charger, you can always charge this thing at, uh, I think about 0.7 amps. Uh, 0.7 amps, not 7 amps, 0.07 amps, and um, or 0.7 amps, and you can peak charge these batteries as well. And uh, that's pretty much it. We will cover, um, we will have full part support and everything for this thing. Oh, I forgot to mention, the antennas ran out of the backside over here of the tail section by the, uh, by the rudder here. It's coiled up, so you want to uncoil it and just let it dangle. It's pretty long. Just let it dangle out of the backside of the airplane. No issues whatsoever, and that will be fine there. And basically, that wraps up this in-the-box review of the TW Models ME109. This thing is beautiful. I can't wait to get you guys a flying video of this thing. Uh, we will have part support. There still is always technical support. I am just one person, but I'm handling all, everything that I possibly can. So uh, if you guys got any questions, get a hold of me at uh, peter at bananahobby.com. I'll be more than happy anytime to talk to any of you guys and work with you guys through any issues you may have. Thanks for checking out this in-the-box review of the TW Models ME109. Come check it out on our website, and we'll see you next time with an ME109 flight review at the field.